Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the look that I've created today. Normally I don't mix red lip with dark smoky eyes, but I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> what do you do? Um, you can rock this look with nude lips too. Like I said, I just got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and yeah, thanks for watching. Well, let's just not pay attention to my fingernails or anything else right now because yeah, they need to be done. Anyway, I'm starting out putting tape on my eyes. It's going to give me that sharp edge note. <clears throat> they are crooked. So I basically took out the whole eyeliner part because I messed it up. Anyway, I am going in with my NYX Milk Pencil. Pencil Milk. Anyway, it's the NYX Eye Pencil in the color Milk. I'm just setting this as a base on my eyelids. Okay, next I'm going in with my Naked Ultimate Basics palette and I'm using the color Tempted. And I'm just going to put this all over the outer crease, make it a V shape. Next I'm going in with my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I'm going in with the gray color. It is called Serious and I'm just going to go over, I guess I heard something. Anyway, I'm going to go over the um, same area with this color and work my way up. This is just going to enhance it a little bit. Now I'm going back in with my Gwen Stefani palette. I'm using the color Blondie and I'm going all over my lid and I'm taking it up by my brow bone. I say by my brow bone, but I mean like on my brow bone. Now I'm taking this shade Pop and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. It just gives it a little extra sparkle. Okay, so I cut out the whole eyeliner thing because it took too long. <laughs> I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Eyeliner and yeah, I just drew on these lovely wings. So, on to the next. Now I'm going to take my, um, well I just took, I'm sorry, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I'm just going to, you know, spray it all over my face, prime it real well. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. So I'm in the shade 104, which I think I could go down to like 103, but who wants to do that? Anyway, I'm taking my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, flat top Kabuki brush, 
and I'm just putting the foundation on and then when I'm done with that I will go in with my beauty blender and tap it out to make it look real smooth and photo finished. Okay, so normally I put this on before I do my foundation, but today I just went a little backwards. This is my Benefit Erase Paste, and if you have black, black, dark circles on your eyes, this is sent from heaven above because it knocks out the dark circles like you put fresh paint <laughs> over your eyes. It is crazy. I love this stuff, and I recommend it to anybody who has dark circles. Okay, so next I'm going in with my concealer. Um, the first one I use is the Naked Skin Urban Decay in the color Light. And then I go in with Tarte's Shape Tape in the color Medium, which is not the good color I need, but I wanted to try the product, so I got it in Medium. <laughs> anyway, um, I just mix it, and it gives me, like, the perfect color. So, I just use this to do my start my contouring, my highlighting. Now to set that, I'm going in and using my Arbonne um, translucent powder. I love this stuff, but it smells, okay, like I can't deal with the smell. I should have gotten on scent it, but the smell, it smells just like my grandma, because she used to wear this powder back in the day. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just using this to bake under my eyes and wherever I highlight it at. And you'll get to see where I sneeze and cough here in just a minute too, because I use too much. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this Pure Mineral uh, mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. Um, I got this out of my BoxyCharm uh, box this, this month. So, this is the first time I really ever use it. And I'm not going to lie. It's really nice. I really like the color and I really like how it blends. And I like how it goes on my skin real smooth. So, this is from the company Pure. The blush I'm going to be using is from Wet n Wild. Um, this is my favorite blush. I use it pretty much every time I get ready to go somewhere. It is in it's in the color apricot, apricot, apricot. I don't know. Anyway, it's this really pretty peachy tone color, and I absolutely love it. I know I hide myself here, but basically all I'm doing is going in and uh, smoking out the bottom lash line with the same gray that we used earlier. And then I go back in with the blue that's in the palette and I smoke it out just a little bit more.
so now I'm just touching up my eyes a little bit using the same brush and the same colors that I used earlier. Um, and then I'm going to take my humongous brush I got from Morphe and I'm going to blend everything on my face. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so next what I'm going to be doing is working on my lashes. I'm taking Tarte's Opening Act Primer and my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, uh, Waterproof Mascara, and I'm just going to put my mascara on. I'm not wearing lashes for this look because I just didn't want to. <laughs> and so, yeah. Now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I'm going to go ahead and put my brows on. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to skip on to the next. So now I'm just trying to pick out a lip. I didn't know if I wanted to do red, peach, or if I even wanted to do this cool gray that I have. All these lippies are from ColourPop. Um, so I decided I was going to do the red. Um, I This is ColourPop's um, Ultra Matte Lippy in the color, Co I mean sorry, Ultra Satin Lippy in the color Cozy. And it is by far one of my favorite reds. And if you have yet to order from ColourPop, I think you just need to do that because it's probably one of the best companies out there where you can get awesome products for cheap. Anyway, after that, I'm going to highlight, and what I'm using to highlight is this um, liquid highlighter that I got in my Ipsy bag um, about a month ago. No, I lied. A long time ago because I canceled my Ipsy bag. Anyway, it is called Liquid Gossamere. And it's by a company called Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. And it gave me the perfect shine. And after I put it on, I went over with my vintage highlighter that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. Um, these colors are beautiful and to die for. They're called Rose Cortez and Chocolate Diamond. And I went in with the rose color.
hope you hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you in my next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.